I'm Charlie. And I'm Drew. And this is a special Halloween, uh, I mean, Harvest episode of I, I Charlie. Charlie. Actually, we could call it a special Reformation Day episode as well, you know? But technically, today is October 28th, not October 31st. Yeah, but I doubt that we get another episode up before Halloween, uh, I mean, Reformation Day on Friday. Now, for those of you who aren't familiar with the concept, Reformation Day, October 31st, is the day that Martin Luther nailed the 95 Theses to the door of the church at Wittenberg in 1517, thereby beginning the Protestant Reformation. And for those of you who are not familiar with Halloween, I think Charlie Brown and Linus started it by standing in a pumpkin patch awaiting the arrival of the Great Pumpkin. Really? No. Halloween has its origin in its origins in the ancient Celtic festival known as Samhain. The festival of Samhain is a celebration of the end of the harvest season in Gaelic culture and is sometimes regarded as the Celtic New Year. Traditionally, the festival is a time used by the ancient pagans to take stock of supplies and slaughter livestock for winter stores. The ancient Gaels believed that on October 31st, now known as Halloween, the boundary between the living and the deceased dissolved, and the dead became dangerous for the living by causing problems such as sickness or damaged crops. The festival, the festivals would frequently involve bonfires, into which bones of slaughtered livestock were thrown. Costumes and masks were also worn at the festivals in an attempt to mimic the evil spirits or placate, placate them. Whoa. Drew. You know a lot about Halloween. Yeah, I got it from Wikipedia. So, you know, it's got to be great. Wikipedia is the best thing ever. Anyone in the world can write anything they want about any subject. So you know you are getting the best possible information out there. Yeah, if only Miss McGuffey understood that. Yeah, she seems so smart otherwise. It's really weird. Who doesn't like Wikipedia? I don't know. Well, back to Halloween. We know that people have differing views on it, and we're totally cool with that. Mom has never let us do any big scary stuff, <coughs> but we always try to make it to boo at the zoo. Yeah, remember the year that Mom dressed you up as the cat in the hat and me as a giant M&M? I don't actually remember it, but I've seen the pictures. Yeah, there's not much boo at boo at the zoo. Yeah, this year we just went in our Animal animal Day costumes, and Bonnie went as a butterfly princess. I hate to admit it, but she was a pretty cute butterfly princess. It kind of made me glad that I went for her. Here we are at Boo at the Zoo. Bonnie. Boo at the Zoo was a little different this year because there were so many people from ECCS and, EC and ECS there volunteering. Yeah. Some of them looked like they were having fun, but others seemed to be sort of bored with helping little kids toss various kinds of balls into different types of holes and pieces of wood. Yeah. Well, the Celtic dancers didn't look bored, did they, Charlie? How could they be bored, Drew, when they had such an adept student to teach their moves to? Yeah. At the homecoming dance, Charlie apparently gained a reputation for having only one move, which the ladies have deemed... The Charlie. It goes something like this. Drew, you have it all wrong. It's... So, at Boo the Zoo, Charlie approached the Celtic dancers, explained to them that he only had one move, and asked them to help him out. Here he's getting a little instruction in Celtic dancing. Let's see your skills. to the next social when the Celtic Charlie makes its dance floor debut. Of course we all are, Drew. 
Speaking of the ladies, though, I have to say that I've been getting quite a bit of positive feedback from the ladies myself. Ladies? You? That's right. Apparently, there's nothing like a lacerated liver to endear one to the ladies. I'm sure that you haven't forgotten all my cards from the junior high girls Sunday school class. Yes, I remember. But that's it, right? Oh no, Charlie. Yesterday, when I arrived at school, the varsity cheerleaders were there with a huge bag of stuff. Coke, gummy bears, sour gummy worms, M&Ms, and lots of other nifty candy. A foam football and this card. Let's see, Charlie. Here's just a sampling of the comments. You rock. Love you. Love you. Heart you. Etc. 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 I guess you get the picture. You and your lacerated liver. <laughs> and, of course, it was obvious at Boo at the Zoo that the Celtic dancing ladies really wanted to teach me to dance. I'm just not allowed to jump about like that. Right. And then, of course, you know what Lacey said at Boo at the Zoo. Hmm. Hey, this is Lacey. Charlie's always talking about how the girls like him, but we really like Drew. Ha, <laughs> I think your star might be fading. While mine is on the rise. You just keep telling yourself that, Drew. Well, anything else that we need to report on today? Nothing really, except that Mom gave the cat a bath after we got home this afternoon. And she's rather scratched up. That can't <coughs> be a great idea. Getting a cat a bath? I'm thinking, can it? I'm thinking that that would be a big negatory. But we have a viewer email segment tonight, Charlie, don't we? Yes. In fact, we do, Drew. This email comes to us from Melissa Boykin. She reminds us that while we have covered other sports, we have completely neglected mention of the equestrian exploits of several of our schoolmates, including Melissa, Caitlin, and Tiffany, just to name a few. She writes, Okay, our show has a season just like any other sport, and we show in divisions that are narrowed down to class, and some are on the flat, meaning we don't jump in the ring at that time. And after the flat class is the jumping class, which is like what you see on TV, but we are not going crazy fast like they do. It is slow and graceful, or we try to make it like that. In a second email, Melissa reported that her most recent horse show, she placed in several different categories, second place on the flat, and fifth in jumping over fences, and third in another jumping fences competition. Impressive. I don't know exactly what all those terms mean, but still, I mean, I know they work hard taking care of all those horses, training them and learn and teaching them and learning how to do all the different types of competitions. Yeah, and you know it's really neat to have something that you love, whether it's soccer or football or piano or horseback riding or programming your calculator. Yeah, it's nice to have something that you love that you to work at to become better at. Well. It's time to sign off from another episode of I, I Charlie. Charlie.